in the book, you started off right with the 9-11 day when they literally grabbed you and, and, and thrust you the decision making. As you talk about it, the fog of war, when there were talk of, of planes being shot down and planes going down left and right. There are still folks today as we approach this 9-11 10th anniversary that say, oh, it didn't happen. There wasn't a plane that went into the Pentagon. They're not going to let the facts dissuade them. I mean, they almost have the impression that Dick Cheney was running around laying bombs in, in the towers and blowing them up. How do you feel about about those kinds of attitudes 10 years later still persisting? Well, I, I really don't pay any attention to them, Steve. I, uh, you know, nothing you can do about people like that. Uh, there are just folks in the world who don't want to uh, believe in uh, certain things, and, and uh, they go out of their way to try to find some way to explain it, that you know, the government did it, um, or to deny that it ever happened. And um, the, uh, I'd say I don't lose a lot of sleep over that. Uh, they're too dumb to check the historical record or uh, unwilling to, to uh, rely on the facts. That's, that's their problem. Or even the admissions of guys like Khaled Sheikh Mohammed. I mean, they're saying they did it, so I mean, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to deny that. 